Hi, it's Ian from Sense Labs. In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to set up and customize the virtual tablet mode that's in the Sense Labs Pen Display 24 driver. Let's jump in. So here you can see my configuration. I have three displays. I have our Sense Labs Pen Display 24 as my main display. I have in the top left a 16 inch MacBook Pro and in the top right I have a 24 inch display. Uh, so that's my configuration for the three screens. And I'm going to show you how our virtual tablet mode and switch displays allows you to move artwork, folders, panels, anything you want from one display to another. But as you can see, my three displays, the pen display 24 from Sense Labs. I have the 24 inch XP pen Artist Pro and I have a MacBook Pro 16 inch M1 uh, display to the side. So that's the three configurations that you just saw. What I also have are three buttons just at the top of the pen display. The top left will always bring up my driver panel. So it gets us straight into the settings. And from the driver panel, what we can actually see is that from our pen display 24, we can configure and we can control the three buttons that appear at the top of the screen. So we can customize these. We can change the color that they light up as per different application and we can say how bright or how dim or even switch off uh, the lights that's on the top of the display. So in this option which says switch display, that will allow us to actually jump between each of the different monitors that I'm connected to. Third button across the top of the pen display 24 launches our switch display or virtual tablet mode. And as you can see here, it's now in the built-in retina display. Now that's the 16 inch display, which is just off to the left hand side. If I click the button that says switch display, it now changes to the Artist 24 Pro. So it's flicking between and switching around between each of the displays that I have. If I click it again, it then brings me back to this display, which is the pen display 24. So just by pressing that one button on the top right hand side of the display, will allow me to switch between each of the displays. If I push the button one more time, it now loads up all three displays in one area. This allows me very easily to now navigate and grab any folder, any file, including the driver panel, and move it across onto the retina display by grabbing it and moving it into the gray box. Or if I wanted it on the Artist 24 Pro, I can simply drag it and move it around. If I want it down onto the pen display itself in front of me, I can drag it down into the gray box that's at the bottom of the screen and it just allows me very easily to move items from one screen to another. Take this to the next level. What I've done is I've configured my quick keys. So my quick keys actually has a button and as you can see here it says virtual tablet. So I have a button on my quick keys that sits right beside me that allows me at any time to push a button and come straight into the virtual tablet mode so I can see these gray boxes and move artwork or images or panels from one display to another. Simply pressing the button again cancels it off the screen. Now I like having that button on the quick keys or in fact on the pen or you can program the pen buttons to do exactly what you need the same as what you can do with the quick keys. So within my quick keys under set B I have a button set up for tablet display I can have switch display or I can have virtual tablet on or off. Virtual tablet on or off just brings up the gray boxes with all of the displays as opposed to switching between each and every single one of the displays that you're connected to. I can also configure the three button pen or the thin pen by doing the exact same by coming in and choosing one of the buttons on the pen and coming into tablet display mode and changing it to either switch display. So that button will jump me between each of the displays or virtual tablet on or off, which will show me the gray boxes and all of the displays that I'm connected to. I like it set up on my quick keys. So it's one click on, one click off, and allows me to drag and drop artwork, files, folders, anything I need between each of the displays. So here's a practical demonstration. I need to move the folder images that I have here across onto one of my other displays. As I've already shown, I have the third button across the top, which allow me to cycle through the displays. It's called switch display. 
or I can program my quick keys or pen so that I have one button that loads up my virtual tablet mode. It shows me all my displays and allows me to drag the folder that I have into the gray box for built-in retina and it moves it across onto the retina display or drag it onto the Artist 24 Pro or keep it down on the pen display 24. So depending on the number of displays you're connected to, this is a very simple, very straight, easy way that you can just drag and drop files or folders from one display to another. You can turn on or off the virtual tablet mode for all displays or have the button set up for switch displays that allows you to cycle through each of the monitors that might be connected to you. So in this example, I've opened up Adobe Lightroom and as you can see in the bottom left hand corner, Lightroom allows you to have multiple displays and when you click on number two, I have it set so it opens it up as a grid of images. What I'm going to do is move this grid of images to one of the other monitors that's connected to me. So I'm going to come to the three buttons at the top of the display and push the third button. The third button opens up and allows me to see the built-in retina display. I can click the box that says switch display to alternate this from the built-in retina to the Artist 24 Pro. Now what I can do is I can move the folder of images from the pen display 24 into the yellow box that moves it straight onto the Artist 24 Pro display. But let's look at the driver panel and see how we can control and customize the virtual tablet mode and how it appears on our screen. I'm going to go into device settings. I'm going to come across to display controls and we have an icon that shows us how the virtual tablet is going to open up on our display. What we can do is we can edit the virtual tablet and within here we have several options so we can change the size and also the position so we can have it small down in the bottom left hand corner. So if I confirm that and press the button for virtual tablet mode instead of it opening up large in the middle of the screen it now opens up down in the bottom left hand side of the screen. So if I need to move this folder, I can drag it down and you'll see it appearing on the Artist 24 where I can drag it across. So it's smaller movements. It enables me a very small, simple movement across this gray box to be able to control a larger movement on screen. So by moving it from gray box to gray box, you can see that it jumps across each of the different displays. Very fluid, very easily. Very simple way to control how it works. So by editing the virtual tablet allows you to control and configure which one of these options suit you. I'm going to keep mine on the medium default, just confirm and that's it set up. So in this video I've shown you how to customize the virtual tablet mode or the switch displays to make it easier for you to jump between each of the monitors that you might be connected to. It allows you to drag and drop artwork, folders, images, anything that you need to move from one display to another you can configure and control through the virtual tablet mode or switch display mode on the pen display 24. I've also shown you how to customize the quick keys. So you have one button which will open or close all of your monitors through the virtual tablet mode. I hope you find this useful. Please let me know in the comments below if you're using the pen display 24, if you like to use the switch display or if you like the virtual tablet mode which opens up all of the display panels at once. Sense Labs. Labs.